Hi, welcome to my channel. Today is the first episode of our Pretty to Prettier series. And for today, we will talk about rhinoplasty. My name is Dr. Josephine Grace Rahotan, facial plastic and rhinoplasty surgeon. And today, we will talk about what is rhinoplasty. So first, rhinoplasty is the surgical procedure done to improve the shape of the outer as well as the inner structures of the nose, either for aesthetic to make it more beautiful or functional purposes and the nose is very very important when it comes to beautifying the face because it is located right in the middle of our face its relationship with other structures like eyes lips and cheeks are also very important when we consider what we need to do in a rhinoplasty surgery so we appreciate how rhinoplasty works so these are the top five major parts of the nose so we have dorsum so the dorsum are also known as the bridge the tip which is usually ideally a little pointy and we also have the ala or what we consider as the wing of the nose and the other two that's usually not mentioned when it comes to part of the nose would be the nostril or the hole where you breathe in and also the columella. So the columella is the one that divides your nostril into left and right side. So now the top five indications why people go for rhinoplasty, especially for Asians and here in the Philippines. The first one, the low dorsum, because there are so many Filipinos and Asians have a very low bridge here that we need to augment it. In another video, maybe we can talk about the different materials used, but generally the most common before was silicone and now it is replaced by what is commonly known as Gore-Tex. And there are also other autologous kind of material like from the cartilages in our ears or from the ribs of the same patient to augment or make the dorsum higher. For most Filipinos, we thought that rhinoplasty is just about augmentation of the dorsum or making the dorsum higher because many patients have low dorsum or low bridge. But actually, rhinoplasty is so much more than just augmentation or making the dorsum a little higher. But of course, for the top five indications for rhinoplasty, the first one really is the low dorsum. The next one would be the bulbous tip. So what you can see in this photo is a very nice tip. It's quite defined, it's quite pointy, and many of Asians, especially of male and females, both male and females will actually have bulbous tips. So it's gonna be a little globular or flat, or sometimes it is not that defined as you can see in the sample photo. And of course, the third would be hanging ala. So the ala or the wing, ideally based on aesthetics, should be higher than the columella. So in the photo here, you can see that this is quite the ideal aesthetic nose wherein the ala or the wing is located higher than the columella. That's why people, especially when they are not smiling, that is when you can see that the ala is actually lower. So majority actually need to smile more in order to elevate that ala. So the ala, when you smile, elevates on both sides and projecting your columella and that defines a better nose when it comes to aesthetic sense. So another indication why people go for rhinoplasty would be wide ala. So if you will take a measurement from left to right, so there are those ala that are actually quite wide. Actually, when they smile, the moment they smile, the width of the ala goes even wider. So that is also one factor that we can consider into doing rhinoplasty. And of course, the last one, so why people, especially here in the Philippines and in Asia, go for rhinoplasty would be large ala. So it's not just about the diameter between the two, and it's not just about being hanging, but also the amount of skin or tissue in the ala. So if it's large and bulky, that is also one reason for rhinoplasty, specifically that is called alar based surgery. So those are the top five reasons Reasons. And there are also other indications that may not be that common but are also considered 
good indications where rhinoplasty can be considered. Of course, generally rhinoplasty is an elective surgery, so meaning it's not an emergency kind of procedure. It is just optional for those who wish to have it. So the other indications for rhinoplasty would be one, aging nose where in their younger age their nose is very nice it's very taut and then the support is very good but as they age the skin relaxes the tip support becomes a weaker so it's more collapsible overall appearance is just that of no longer a younger nose and that can be restored it's like rejuvenation of the nose through rhinoplasty there are also those with deviated nose especially inborn or structural they're in problems breathing because of that deviated nose including the deviation in the septum or inside the nose there are also deviated nose that is secondary to trauma or fractures so usually when a nose is fractured especially during sports like basketball it is easily corrected but if it's neglected it becomes a little permanent and hard to correct unless a proper rhinoplasty is done and also other indications would be a short nose or rotated tip so wherein the tip it's supposedly be derotated like going a little downward but if it's too much of course that is also another indication for rhinoplasty but majority especially in the philippines we have rotated tips so it's a little pushing upward and not downward. If you can imagine a derotated tip or an overly derotated tip, it's like that of the witch. But that is seldom the case when it comes to Asian noses, especially Filipino noses. So the common is the rotated tip. So short when it comes to length and the tip is retracted upward so that is rotated tip and last one would be flaring nostrils so others when they smile the nostril shows up and also secondary to that there's also gummy smile so when they smile the gums shows up so those are the things that can be improved with rhinoplasty and now i will show you some samples of the photos so you can properly appreciate what rhinoplasty can do to a nose and improve the overall appearance of a face so these patients i operated in various institutions so these are just few of the cases that i did so the first one would be this one so as you can see there is low dorsum bridge is small so the before photo you can focus in there the ala is also a little hanging although not that much but it's somewhat on the level of the colla. What we want is an ala that is a little higher than the columella. And this patient also has an overall short nose, so the tip is rotated. So we want to lengthen that. The finished photo, so before and after, you can see now that the dorsum, this is augmented using Gore-Tex PTFE material. So the dorsum now is more defined, and we also improve the ala using sail excision and also alar excision and reconstructed the tip so you can see now that there's already a very very good tip i will enlarge the screen for you to see better so i think that is better so you can see that the tip which is a little bulbous pre-op so before and now the tip is more defined after the procedure so this photo was exactly one month after the procedure and the healing is so good so second patient would be this one so there's again low dorsum it's not very defined there's wide and hanging ala the tip is also globular and in here although not very obvious in this photo but this patient actually has gummy smile and we corrected that during the surgery and in the after photo we can see that the bridge or the dorsum is more defined this patient specified that she doesn't want that very high dorsum or bridge so she just want to make it natural looking so we can see now that the tip is more defined the columella is more derotated or there's counter rotation of columella and the ala is also prettier 
it's smaller now with a shorter diameter as compared to before making it a very very feminine and of course the gummy smile is no longer visible so that is what rhinoplasty can do not just on the nose itself but also it can improve the appearance of the lips of the smile and even the eyes if you have seen or know someone who did rhinoplasty you'll know that the appearance of their eyes also becomes better right after the surgery so this one has bulbous tip there's also a lot of improvement needed for the ala there's hanging ala and it's also very wide from left to right it's large and bulky and the dorsum is actually okay it's good it's already high so we don't need to do anything with the dorsum it's post up around a month after procedure so the bulbous tip is already less the ala is already better it's smaller more defined and the diameter from left to right is already shorter and there's also improvement on the appearance of the lips as well as the cheeks so this is the effect of rhinoplasty especially an open septal rhinoplasty with reconstruction not just augmentation not just putting gore-tex or silicone but really opening it up from the inside going out in order to give that defined prettier well supported strong tip the tip is very important when it comes to the overall effect of rhinoplasty and this is another patient with low dorsum and then there's hanging and bulky ala the wide ala also produces a very wide nostril so the nostril is quite round and big and the columella is also short so a month after surgery this is what we have we augmented using Gore-Tex and then we supported the tip using alar cartilage and then also we reconstructed the septum so we have extended spreader graft and our ala is also more defined now it's no longer hanging and the columella is also in better position in relation to the ala so this is another case a very common case here in the philippines one of the many variations of a typical filipino nose and of course as per other indications we already mentioned about an aging nose so this nose is actually good it's actually beautiful but over time because of aging the skin relaxes and the tip support becomes weak so it becomes collapsible plus this patient also has an even nostril from deviated nasal septum so the septum not visible on the outside but on the inside it is pushed on the other side more than the other so it has an effect of an even nostril and the dorsum becomes more evident a little lower as compared to the tip so what we did we augmented a little on just on the dorsum so that it will have a very smooth and nice transition from the dorsum going to the tip we also strengthened the tip using spreader graft and septal cartilage in order to support the tip and we also address the ala so making this a more youthful younger looking nose so that is one indication also when it comes to rhinoplasty and in here this is a deviated nose secondary to trauma so this is a neglected case of trauma and you can see the dorsum or the bridge is more on the left so that was secondary from basketball so the ala is also globular the nostril isn't even and the columella is rotated so we corrected that so this is still a little swollen just one week after surgery but you can see it's already aligned and the important most important improvement for this patient was the improvement on his breathing because this deviation 
is already causing problems when it comes to his breathing. He can no longer breathe on the left side, but after the surgery, we corrected that and that is already improved. So these are the kind of rhinoplasty that we considered as a functional rhinoplasty, something that we do. Facial plastic surgeons, rhinoplasty surgeons with background on ENT. So before I subspecialized into facial plastic and rhinoplasty surgery, I already finished my five years of training on ENT, ears, nose, throat on the pathologic side. So problematic cases like this are one of the things that we also do to improve their overall appearance and their function. So I think this is one of our last patients. So this patient is again a male patient. He had a short and wide nose. The ala is wide. You can see the shape of the nostril. The tip is also bulbous and there is short columella. So immediately after the procedure, you can see the improvement on the shape of the nostril as we improved the tip and we also lengthened the columella. This is another photo of the patient on the side. So we also address the very globular bulky ala and also we augmented just a little. We don't want this to become a Caucasian nose, still an Asian nose, but is more defined and will just have a good contour starting from the dorsum and up to the tip that we now improve. So take note of the improvement, not just on the nose, but actually the improvement on the nasolabial angle. So the angle between the nose and the lips you can see that the appearance of the lips also improved. So that's just a few of the cases that I did. That's basically the gist of our rhinoplasty, an introductory video for our pretty to prettier series. So that's rhinoplasty. Just contact manager Cherise at 09 17 1239 for appointment. So thank you so much. I think that's just it for today. I'll see you again in our next video for this series, Pretty to Prettier. Thank you. Bye.